Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. So today is Friday, May the 26th, 2023. And as you can see at the top right hand corner of the screen, the treasure hunter mole miners are surfacing all over Appalachia. Take them down to claim their riches for yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I have many videos I made in the past. Uh, when I first started making videos on treasure hunter locations. Now, personally, I find treasure hunter mole miners, um, sometimes they're a little hard to find. Let's just be honest. And uh, of all the events that we have, I find the treasure hunter mole miners are the hardest to find uh, as compared to festive and uh spooky scorched which are all over the place but i find the treasure hunter mole miners for me anyway are very hard to find and um if you're a new player playing don't be discouraged if you go on a server and don't find any all right uh because everyone and their dog will be out looking for looking for them <clears throat> excuse me and um yeah so in this episode i'm going to quickly go over uh the three types of pails that we can get from the mole miner treasure hunters and you can actually craft your own uh mole miner pail so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a train station any train station we'll go to charleston station as an example now back in the day uh this was a real thing i don't know if it still is uh some people like making their own uh, treasure hunter mole miner pails. So what you do is go into any old uh, vendor Don't robot at train face station. The wasteland without the now let's go trade. Supplies. I'm going to go down the list here. It's been a little while. So there we go. Under miscellaneous, you can see they sell an empty, dusty mole miner pail, which is the lowest uh, grade level. For 288 caps. And then we have the empty mole miner pail, which is just the, I would say, regular one. Medium, I guess. 863 caps. And then we have this empty ornit mole miner pail. And as you can tell, it is the highest quality mole miner pail that you can get. And it's 2,530 caps, okay? So, we can buy these if you take note uh, of how much they cost. Okay. Let's back out here real quick. Now, we're going to put on a uh, perk card. Take these guys off. We're going to put on level 3 hard bargain. Buying and selling prices at non-player vendors, such as this one, are now much better. Let's put that on. And let's go back to miscellaneous and see how much they cost. So you can see we get a little bit of a discount. Empty dusty mole miner pail. Now it's 243. Empty mole miner pail. 728. Empty ornate mole miner pail. 2134. Okay, so let's go to my stash box real quick. And I think I have some grape ventats in here. I could be wrong. Maybe I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, there you go. Let's check my purse in here. See if I do. I thought I did. Yep, there we go. So we got great man tats on us. So it gives us plus five charisma and better barter rates for 10 minutes. Increases thirst, of course. So we're going to get I'm going to grab eat one of those uh, grape men tats. Plus, we have that hard bargain perk card on. So let's Welcome, see what we get now. Citizen. I am authorized to trade supplies. So a little bit, e so a bit better e even more. Empty dusty mole miner pail, 232. Empty mole miner pail, 695. Empty ornate mole miner pail, so 2039. So we definitely save with that perk card and we save for the grape mint tats. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy each one. Okay, so this is this fender here at Charleston Station. 
Let's go to another train station. Let's go up here. Go up here to Morgantown Station. And see if that vendor robot has the same thing for sale. Because once upon a time ago, once when you bought it from one vendor robot, the others wouldn't have any. So let's prove that out to make sure that that's, you know, incorrect. Let's go down to miscellaneous. So there we go. Again, the great men tabs are working. And that uh, hard bargain per card is also working. So let's grab these guys. So you can almost do that. You can go to each train station and buy up these three different versions of the Mulminder Pails. So we're gonna, I'm going to switch these cards back here, or this card back. If I can remember what I had on there before. <laughs> this guy. Guess I'm just going to the other side. Oh, there you go. Little wonder. There we go. All right. So now we got that done. So let's check our uh, pit boy under miscellaneous. So there we go. We got two empty dusty mole miner pails, two empty mole miner pails, two empty ornate mole miner pails. And if you notice, each mole miner pail weighs one unit. So if you're kind of always running up against your weight limit, having a lot of mole miner pails will increase that even more because each pail weighs one all right so it's uh so keep an eye on that and the same thing goes for your stash if you put these in your stash box and save them for later same deal if you're running up, running up against your uh, weight limit in your stash box same kind of deal there right just fyi all right so let's go back to my camp where it's a little a little quieter hopefully <laughs> there's old steve in there doing his thing like that picture. All right. We're back in my camp. Now we're going to go to our Tinker's workbench. Okay, so then it's going to go craft. You go down to chess. And now you can fill the fill up these empty pails that we got. So let's use this crafted dusty mole miner pail. You need one empty dusty mole miner pail, six screws, twenty steel to make it crafted. So that means it fills it up. So as you see at the bottom, a low quality mole miner pail. So let's go ahead. We're going to craft. Craft. So there we go. Okay, so I also want to test something here. I haven't tested this before. We're going to try to use the super duper perk. I don't believe it's going to work. I think I forget what uh, YouTuber had tested that what long time ago, but uh, I believe it's not going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it because, you know, as we know, Fallout 76 changes all the time. So we're going to put this level three super duper. When you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double results. I highly doubt it's going to work. I highly doubt it, but we're going to try. We're going to try. So we'll go back to craft. All right, we're going to go down to chess. Okay. We don't have any empty dusty mole miner pails, so now we have these crafted mole miner pails. And as you can see, the requirements increases. Okay. So crafted mole miner pail. We need one empty mole miner pail. Six screws. Five silver, that's a lot. Five springs, 20 steel. A mole miner pail, so basically just a regular old mole miner pail. Let's go ahead. We'll craft these. Okay. Now we'll do the crafted ornament with a mole miner pail. This is a high value mole miner pail. So same thing, one empty ornate mole miner pail, five gold, six screws, five silver, 
in five springs, all right? Now, as you can see, if you have a lot of stuff, like if you have Fallout first and you have a lot of stuff in your uh, scrap box, then yeah, you could definitely get away from doing this all the time. But if you don't have Fallout first, you're kind of limited on, you know, certain valuables, uh, it might be a little hard for you to do. But I just still wanted to show you is that it could be done. All right, so we have that super duper perk card on. And as you can see, and as we heard, it did not work. It did not work at all. Let's go ahead. We're going to take that super duper perk card. I didn't think it did, but it doesn't hurt to check once in a while because there's so many patches and and um, updates in this game. You just never know. Okay, so we, we proved that out uh, with those four pails. The super duper didn't work on any one of those pails. All right. So that's good. So that's good. So now let's try to open up these pails that we just crafted. Let's check under new. Now, if they're not under new, they'll be under aid. Yes, I know. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know why. Right. So if you craft them or if you pick them up recently uh, without server hopping, they'll be under new. And if you're looking for them and you're thinking, hey, I wonder where these pails went. They're under aid. OK, so as you can see, um, how it says crafted dusty mole miner pail, crafted mole miner pail, crafted ornate mole miner pail as compared to dusty mole miner pail. This dusty mole miner pail I picked up yesterday from a mole miner treasure hunter. And that's what that that's how you could tell the difference. These ones here that we crafted has crafted in the front of it. And the same thing, uh, they weigh one, one unit. OK, so keep that in mind. So let's open up these. Um, Mole Miner Pails. Now, I personally am a little superstitious on things. Whether it matters or not, I, I don't know. I don't think it does, but I like to open the lowest quality first, then the middle quality, and then the highest quality at the end, okay? I don't know if other people do that, but that's just that's how my brain works. <laughs> okay, so let's open up the crafted dusty Mole Miner Pail. You can see the top left hand corner of the screen. Uh, we're getting some stuff. All right. Now, actually, before I start opening up some more, I highly recommend these because these mall miner pails also give out ammunition. OK, now, if you're low and if you're a new player, you only have so many resources, you only have so many caps to buy ammunition. What you can do is pick a weapon that you normally use. OK. Put it on your person, okay? In my case, I'm using this uh, plasma caster. All right, so plasma cartridges, I have 861. So remember that, 861. So let's go down to aid and we'll keep opening these mole miner pails. Okay. Now I'll open up the crafted mole miner pail just like the regular regular one and as you can see we'll get we get more stuff we get more stuff out of the higher quality ones all right all right so we're actually getting some caps as well you see the caps just pop up okay uh now we have crafted ornate mole miner pairs so these are the highest value highest quality mole miner pails you can get and, that, and that, of course trying to find these on the mole miner treasure hunters they're rare like they're very rare and um you know don't be discouraged if you don't find a lot of them okay let's open up this guy so as you can see we get legendary script out of that one someone did ask me there uh, earlier on so definitely the ornate molemeyer pails are the way to go and as you can see we get some ammunition added up there there's that guy some more legendary script but it's totally random like it, it totally is random you can't uh, pick and choose what you get all right, so those are the uh, more minor, the crafted mall miner pails that we made. Let's go down here to ammunition. So as you can see, we gained quite a bit more of ammunition. All right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I wanted to show you that. This, to me, that's important. Now let's go down to uh, new items. So we get two coal, four gold scrap. We get this, a new plant that I don't even know. Cave Cricket Tube. This, thanks, man. The plan and the plans 
we would more so get, you have a higher chance of getting plans from the highest quality more mall miner pail, the ornament uh, mall miner pail. So we got six plasma grenades, two cannonballs. We got a cursed broadsider. So that's a three star. So we, we got a legendary uh, weapon. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to use it, but I'll probably sell it. Floater flamer grenade, two. It's a nuclear waste. Three frag grenades, Molotov cocktail, two silver scrap. And that's it. That's what we got. And of course, the ammunition. Uh, plasma cartridges for this uh, plasma caster, which are expensive to make. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So that's pretty good. Curse Broadsider. Yeah, that's pretty all right. That's all right. So there you go. So I just wanted to explain that to you. Uh, you know, and then I'm going to make another video uh, showing some great locations of uh, Mole Miner Treasure Hunters. And as that one there is going to be hard to do because a lot of times they're already de already dead or they're not spawning in. Uh, but uh, I wanted to kind of go through that uh, for you guys so you can craft your own mall miner pails. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.